Next step would be creating a window itself. Uh, so I would need to have additional profile. Uh, maybe I will show you quickly how I imagine it. So there will be another profile like that with a cutout. So again, best uh, way would be to create a new family metric profile and draw something like that. So I will use line tool. And try to parameterize it. To make it more simple, I will keep it maybe rectangle. So both of them, I mean square. So both of them will be the same. And here also the same. Let's save this profile. You see I'm in a custom families. So I advise you to also create a profile folder. So Okay, uh, once it's loaded, let me go into interior elevation and start creating a sweep again, sketch path. Also set the plane by picking it. And this time I will pick the existing uh, main frame of the window. If you have problem uh, selecting the uh, this sweep, check if you have select elements by face option active. Okay, now once it's active, I will sketch a sweep. Mm, maybe lock it, of course, and move this maybe here so I can see. The, how the profile matches the uh, the frame on the reference level view. I accept the path, go to reference plane and select my window frame profile. This is also a big one. So let me rotate it. We can also use a flip command. Okay. This is how uh, it, it, it got positioned. So we can either go back to the profile definition and make sure that this part is uh, in the middle of uh, in the middle of uh, our uh, reference plane on this red dot. Or we can also use vertical uh, offsets. As I showed you before, the more clean method would be to uh, modify the profile itself. So let me go back to the definition of the profile and I will quickly move it. Some of the parameters probably will be deleted. Okay. So Here is the first one and here is the second one. This time I'm aligning uh, the dimension to the lines itself, not reference planes. Hope it will work. Okay, let me load it back into the family. Override, you see, it matches exactly how I wanted it. Again, let's fix the parameters. Double click here. and match the uh, A. With a new parameter. Okay. I will switch to shaded view so we see it more clearly and now let's try to modify it. Uh, first would be like maybe 35 for example and the 
window frame width would be also 50. So let's say uh, we want to parameterize somehow the uh, the frame width with the window frame width. For example, let's keep it the same. So I will just copy Ctrl C and enter the formula there. And the frame cutout window, let's make this a window frame width minus 25. Let's see how it looks like. Okay, of course, this is just everything is hypothetical. I'm just giving you an example. It's not uh, uh, based on any real project. So don't uh, focus on the values, focus more on the method I am using and apply it to the to the case you will have in the future or, or you have now. I'm just showing you that we can easily parameterize all the values there. The thing is uh, that once we create parameters, some of the parameters are less useful for the potential future user. So it's good to store them under a separate category called other. So let's keep in the dimension only this, uh, these dimensions that are necessary for the future user by editing the parameter, selecting it, this clicking on this pencil, and I can change change the grouping to other. You see, it went here the same with maybe this one, I will move it to other. And now we have a clear, uh, clear, uh, clear uh, group of dimensions. The rough uh, width and the rough height, in our case, will be the same as width. And here, height. You need to uh, make sure that you uh, spell the world correctly even if I make a small mistake, like by not keeping uh, a caps on, on the first capital letter, um, then it will give me a mistake that Revit is not finding the parameter calls like that. So make sure that you write it correctly or do it as I am often by uh, selecting it and control C, control V, everything. Okay, now also let's make it the same material and check how it looks like in a 3D. We can again test it now by changing the whole width and height of the window and again offset everything works.